You guys have seen me do a lot of Clue Scroll videos in the past, but it's time to make it official. Welcome to episode 1 of Road to Bloodhound. So to kick things off for the series, I decided I want to start with hard Clue Scrolls. Currently I'm buying Nature Implings because these are the most cost effective way of getting hard clues at the current point in time. Sometimes it's magpies, but these have a 1 in 100 chance of giving a hard clue, and the goal is to get around 300 hard clues for this video. So I bought a few extra just in case, and the total cost is around 134 mil. Hopefully, we can make all that money back by the end. Alright, we are officially over 100 hard clues deep. 200 more to go. There we go, that is the 300th hard clue. Got a little bit grindy towards the end, as it typically does, but I managed to maintain composure and get it done. I'm going to actually sell off all this stuff now and figure out what that's all worth, and probably just hold on to the extra nature implings for now. Just because I'm probably going to be doing other clue stuff before this video comes out, so I don't want it to get all jumbled up. I mean, honestly, we only spent 132 mil on this, and have almost all of that back already from the remaining imps and the money we got from selling off the jars and the impling leads so we really don't have too much of a hurdle to get through with these 300 hard clues just a couple decent rewards from these or the masters and we're good to go as always let's take a quick look at the collection log because i haven't looked at my hard clue log in a while and I just remembered, because they moved the Third Age items out of here, we're actually a lot closer to the log completion. We are only missing two items from here, which is the Bandos Dehyde Shield and the Arma Dehyde Shield. So getting either one of those would be fantastic, though incredibly unlikely. Before we get too deep into opening these caskets, I want to thank this video's sponsor, Frag Pro Shooter, one of the best and most popular mobile FPS games with 70 million players and over 1 million daily active users. The goal of the game is to destroy the enemy bunkers as quickly as possible to win, and there are over 90 characters that you can collect and customize in order to do so. Frag also releases tons of content updates, like their most recent one that introduced a new legendary champion, Darius. Darius throws soccer balls at his opponents to convince them that nothing is better than that sport. There are also several other different game modes that you can choose from, which are Payload, 2v2, and Street Frag Mode. Personally, I'm a pretty big fan of the Street Frag Mode, where you and your opponent only have one target each, and the maps are smaller, so the games are really quick, making it really easy to pick up and put down whenever you really feel like it. I also created my own club in the game called Low Soul Gamers that you guys are all welcome to join and play together if you want to. Make sure you guys click my link and only my link in the description to get some special rewards, like a golden chest, 500 coins, and 50 diamonds. It's actually worth 6 bucks, and it's free if you download with that link, so you might as well give it a shot. Thanks again to Frag for sponsoring this video. Alright, not a bad start at all. I was just doing that to double check my clue scroll counter on the right, but it looks like it's fine. I'll keep an eye on it for the first few in case it messes up. I don't know why, but the pith helm just is so stupid. <laughs> just like, I, I don't, I don't know. I have personal vendetta against it. Oh, okay, well, back-to-back -back masters, but also Arma Dehyde boots. Are these still worth a lot, or is it like... It's still 750k, that's a really good clue. One mil hard clue, we'll take that. I mean, I would still love to... Woo, boy. That is an insanely good clue. This is the, like, one of the weirdest looking hard clues ever, but dude, it's so good. Because purple sweets are like 9k each. <laughs> that's actually, like, an insanely good clue. It's 400k. Are my chaps? These are worth, actually, way more. Oh, that's right. Blessed Dehyde's probably gonna start being worth a lot more now because of the, the changes. Hard clues are probably gonna be, like, a lot more profit than they used to be, actually, just because of all the blessed dehyde changes. Huh. Hey, look at that ancient de- wait a- what? 381k? Bro, that's so ch- what happened to these things? Third age? Hey man, I would love to get third age, but Zami chaps are pretty good too, that's another, like, 465k, I didn't pick up these purple sweets. Man, this blessed dehyde's gonna be worth a lot, I like it. A rune G helm. How is this three? Is, are these Morton teleports still worth like a ton? Oh, 22.5k each. Wow. All right. Ooh, that's big money. Arma Dehyde top 754k. Wow. I mean, this one was always pretty expensive, but you can definitely see the inflated price. The Abandos Dehyde chaps, a little bit cheaper than the other ones, but still good. And my 11th master insanely lucky on these things which again is great for the idea of road to bloodhound but terrible for the sanity of doing them all in one day dude that's an iron man's wet dream 
The heraldic helm and the heraldic shield in the same clue. Ooh. Unfortunately, another master. Or fortunately, depending on your perspective. But also another armored head body, which is another like 700, 800k. Take that. 18k? 17k? When you think the bad clue can't get worse, then it goes from 18 to 17k. Another pair of dehyde boots that, man, these are so depressing to see now. I guess a lot more people have been doing hard clues recently, but like, seeing dehyde boots at 400k is actually just, that blows my mind, man. Not too long ago, these were well over a mil. Hey, that's pretty good. These have crashed a lot too, but hey, I'll take that. It's a Robin Hood hat, 1.2 mil on clue, holy, clue 3,205. Um, very nice. I think that's our most expensive clue so far in this opening. So, pretty good. That's, uh, that's pretty bad. Sardomedy head chaps, like 500k. Very nice. So far, aside from the Robin, nothing like overwhelming, but still lots of good little caskets. And with Purple Sweets being worth a lot, there's no way we didn't profit. Kind of weird that I just got two of the exact same unique in a clue scroll again, and someone told me that happened earlier too. Okay. Where's like a medium clue? The Guthix Crozier, it's not a Gilded Hosta, or Gilded Spear, alright, I'm just, I'm laying that down right now. Hey, I think we've had every pair of, uh, Blessed Head Chaps. We might be missing, like, Guthix or something, but that's pretty cool. Zamorak Dehyde Boots as well, these are worth a little more than the other ones, I mean, 500k still. These used to be, like, the most expensive ones, man, I can't get over it. I can't get over how cheap these are. Okay, Zamorak Dehyde Boots into Zamorak Chaps. Very nice. Oh my god. Chat. Oh, the last one. God. And it's a pretty good one to end on. Gothic's D head boots. Again, they're kind of cheap. Oh my god. Alright, so, seven hours. It took me seven hours to open the hard clues because I don't know if I'm even going to show all these in the video or all the cuts. I have done 26 master clues today. 26. <laughs> That's nuts. All right, well, and take a look at the master treasure trails. 31 out of 49. Wow, that actually is a lot less items when you take all the third agent gilded out of there. Well, you know, we did go very lucky on these caskets. Maybe we'll get very lucky with the items in the caskets and end up getting ourselves the Bloodhound on the first episode of Road to Bloodhound, which would be hilarious and completely ironic, but. All right, third age ring, come on. Or 15 raw man rays. A drop that I still question why it even exists. Oh, back to back mimics, let's go. One. Okay, it wasn't the one, but we did get a new item. Mummy feet. Um, I don't remember if the mummy set pieces are really rare. I think they're as rare as Anku pieces, right? So that is pretty rare. I don't know, I might be wrong, uh, whatever. Too tired. Sub, what? 78k master clue. I don't think I've ever seen a master clue that cheap. Like, ever. Now, I don't think I've ever seen anyone else even open a master clue that's that cheap. <laughs> what? Oh, hey, look at that. Hood of Darkness that apparently I have never had before. All right. I could have sworn that we've had the Hood of Darkness before, but all right. 387 Master Clues. We pick up a second unique of the opening. Very nice. I mean, you know, two new uniques is really all you can ask for, you know, or the Bloodhound, but that's okay. We'll get it. We have six more caskets to get it, right? Yeah, dang. I was hoping the Humble would, like, encourage the game. It did not. Oh, okay. That's another new item. I'm pretty sure the kits are quite rare. Although, <laughs> the AGS kit, which... Oh, uh, you know what? It's still 600k. 
AGS itself is cheap. It makes sense that the ornament kit would also be cheap. Bam. What? No. What? Okay, I've already had that apparently, but Arma Godsword Ornament Kit back to back into Sara Godsword Ornament Kit. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. That's nuts. Like, that's insanely nuts, but okay. All right, last master. What do we got? All right, you know what? Nothing new, and I just got jebated so hard by my divine potion because I thought that I got the bloodhound there. Okay. All right, well, seven hours of opening clue scrolls later. It's now time to sell off all this loot and see how much, if any, profit we made. I'm expecting to actually make a decent amount because we still have some leftover nature implings as well, so, you know, we'll see what happens, I guess. Truthfully, we did not profit, uh, like, at all. Uh, <laughs> I expected the profits to be way higher than this. I guess we just didn't get particularly lucky on any of the hard clue drops this time around. This seems like it'd be kind of an anomaly. That being said, we did fill in a few new Master Clue collection log slots, which is fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, no new hard slots, because like I said, we're only missing two items there. So, pretty unlikely that we fill that in. Regardless, though, if you guys enjoyed this... I'd really appreciate if you leave a like and, you know, show some support with comments and whatnot as well, because this is going to kind of determine if I keep doing these massive clue openings for some more Road to Bloodhound stuff. So if you liked it, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out, everybody. Baby, but you